Hey, what's up? Everyone wants to know how to uh, dump their UMD discs, so I'm going to show you how. Alright, first, you need to go down to www.phonicuk.com download slash default. I'm going to put that in the description, of course. Go down here to UMD dumper. One point, yeah, English or what other whatever language you desire and that's gonna download which I'm gonna cancel because I've already downloaded it okay once that's downloaded it's gonna be a zip unzip that freaking thing and you're gonna get a little UMD dumper can you believe that? with an eboot license music and readme okay Get your memory card hooked up to your computer, put your PSP in USB mode, whatever you want. And oh, shit. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to put that over there. Okay, um, yeah, once you have your PSP down to the game, drag over, just drag over the UMD folder, I already got it in there, okay, um, now exit out of that, get your memory card from your computer, Stick that in there. Memory stick. And hopefully I didn't freaking break this. Go down to memory stick. And where's that darn UMD dumper? There it is. UMD dumper. And it comes with a nice little theme song. Click on that. Now, we're in business. Okay. Um, this is going to load. Bam. No UMD. I'm going to turn that stupid music off. Open it up. Find you a UMD that you'd like to... Dump. Um. Okay. What's a small one? Uh, what do I got? Ratchet and Clank, Star Wars, Smart Bomb. That's gonna be my choice. That can't be more than anything. Put that UMD in there. Make sure you don't. Okay. Wait till this turned into smart bomb. Now, over here, there's gonna be a README, README target file, ISO mode, normal speed, mini game, start dumping. That's what you want to do. Start dumping. And just remembered if at this point it says like some crazy error like right before you hit UMD dump and you need to go to get your memory card out put that back in and make an ISO folder on the root of your PSP all caps and that will solve that issue and then you'll be able to download I had that problem and it was very annoying um, yeah, just an ISO folder. As you can see, we've only been talking here for a few seconds, and it's already at 50%, but it's only a 113 megabyte game. So, obviously, if you have anything that's not this stupid smart bomb game, it's going to be much, much longer. 
Okay. 73 and you see, memory card going crazy. It's dumping. Also, I would not suggest taking the UMD out at this time. You know, just to let you know. Look at that. Oh, dang, it's almost there. 98. Done. With that. Okay, once that's done dumping, you're going to. What the hell? You're going to quit the game. Trust me here, take the UMD out. Alright. Take that UMD out. Hit your memory card. Bam! Is that Smart Bomb? It is. And it's starting. And here is the UMD. So you know what I'm going to go do? I'm going to go take this back to GameStop. <laughs> it is loading. Damn. How cool is this? Alright, for most of you, if you haven't done this before, you're going to get an error when you hit the game. So, I'm going to quit this, and I'm going to have to go to the recovery menu, and I'm going to teach change one setting on the PSP. Dang it, turn all the way off. Okay. Recovery mode. Okay. Go down to the second one. It's going to be. God, this is terrible. Freaking terrible. There's the second one and it says configuration. Okay, I can't even tell you because it's so bad of a quality. You're going to go down to the one where it says UMD mode. God, that is so bad. UMD mode and it says currently Sony NP whatever. No, whatever. And But you need to make that. Norm it's going to be on normal and you want to change it to you want to just hit X once and it's going to be on M33 driver no no UMD and you're set hit back probably don't want to change anything else in here and you are done you can play UMDs borrow your friends UMDs rent them from Blockbuster yeah seriously Okay, see y'all later.